Father, we give thanks and praise to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship and praise you tonight. Glory and honor and praise and thanksgiving be unto the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Go ahead and praise him tonight. Worship the Lord. Father, we come before your presence to give you glory. We come before your presence tonight in this Wednesday night evening worship service, God, to magnify you, to praise you, to thank you, to lift up our voice, to bless the wonderful name of Jesus, to give thanks and praise to you continuously, God, for all that you have done for us. You're so wonderful, God, so great and so mighty. What a wonderful, wonderful God we serve, a God that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think tonight lord god we lift up our voice to bless you we lift up our voice to praise you we lift up our voice to give you glory and honor and praise and thanksgiving oh father so wonderful you are so great and so mighty you are we love you tonight and thank you for the holy spirit thank you for all that you will do tonight here in the house of the lord thank you father for your love and your peace and your grace in Jesus' name we pray and ask these things. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated tonight. Thank God for the opportunity to be able to come and worship Him in spirit and in truth. And you know His presence is already here with us. His presence is with us tonight. We just got to reach out and touch God. Amen. Reach out and touch the Lord, as the song used to say. I used to say way back when I was a kid. Reach out and touch the Lord as He goes by. He's not going by. He's here to stay with us tonight. So just, let's just enjoy his presence in the house of God. And thank you all for joining us tonight. And, and um, online, we just want God to give you a blessing tonight. My wife is going to sing us a song. Let's just enjoy the worship.
you and bless you tonight lifting up our voice to to thank you for all the wonderful things you have done in our life father continue to move in the lives of men and women lord in this church people around this world in this country there is a great need there's a great need for god in the lives of men and women and many are blind to that need lord jesus many oh god are blind to the need for god in their life i pray father for their eyes to be opened Open their eyes tonight that they will see the only answer is Jesus. Open their eyes to see, Lord God, that uh, they cannot fix their life without you. That you are the one that can put them back together. You're the one that can bring peace and hope and joy. You're the one that can bless them tonight, Lord God. Help them to see it tonight in the name of Jesus.
is Lord. Blessed be his name. Are you awake now? <laughs> what a blessing to be here in the house of the Lord, midweek worship. And we just want to thank God for his goodness and his mercy and for all that he has done for us. I want to read to you tonight from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 20 will be our Bible reading. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 20. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by the Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. I want to use verse 16 as our text tonight. Verse 16, especially the last part. He said that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. I want to use that verse of scripture where you talk about being strengthened in the inner man. And with the help of the Lord, I want to preach a message entitled, Deep Within. Deep Within. Let's look to the Lord in prayer tonight. Nathan, would you please pray? So thank you. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this Wednesday evening service. God, we ask that you bless the message. Bless your preacher. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all. I want to preach about deep within. Now the Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 14. And I know, of course, is speaking about this if a person is sick. But it also can be spoken in all together of, of, in every aspect of our life. He said, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity or his weakness, even though he is weak and even though he has problems and physical pain, yet he can be a beat, he can be positive, he can be an overcomer if his spirit is strong enough. And so that's really what we want to focus on tonight in the message is that the Holy Spirit wants to help us, but the Holy Spirit starts from the inside, deep within us. And so when he speak of this in, in our Bible text, he said, to be strengthened with might by the Spirit in the inner man. He's speaking about the word might in the sense of, of a noun. He's speaking of power, to be strengthened with power or authority or the resources we need. It also speaks of bodily strength, to be, to be strong, to have the might of this person. Or it speaks of energy or the intensity of which one is capable. And so the Bible is showing us that God wants to put some power in us. I mean, He wants to encourage us. He wants us to be overcomers. But He wants us to also understand where the strength will come from or where the strength will be. And he's talk, I'm talking about deep within. And as the message go on, you'll see what I'm talking about. Because you see, God wants His people to be strong. Amen? God wants His people to, He wants our spirit, so as we share in here, the spirit will sustain us. Our spirit will sustain us. God wants our spirit to be strong so that when we are in the battle, when we are in the difficulty, we're in the challenges, and all the things that come against us, it won't bring us down because our spirit will sustain us, will strengthen us. And so the Bible teaches us that life is a constant battle. Every day is something new. Whether we see it or whether we don't see it, amen? You can rest assured the battle never stops. 
The battle never stops. The devil works 24 hours every single day, seeking, as the Bible says, like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And a lot of times we may recognize the way in which he attacks us, but there's sometimes we don't ever rec- we don't even recognize it until it's too late. Amen. Until it's too late. But it doesn't change the fact that he is up to something. It doesn't change the fact that he is doing something every day, seeking to destroy. Christians seeking to bring us down or to get us discouraged or to get our eyes off the price and to get us to lose focus on what God wants us to focus on. And so we as Christians have to fight, but we have to realize that without the Spirit of God, we cannot do it. And so we need the help of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost will help us. The Holy Ghost wants to help us, but we, we, but He will start. He, he starts on the inside, deep within us. We got to have something for the Holy Ghost to work with. Amen? Amen? And that's really the message I'm talking about. The Spirit of God will help us, but we got to do something to help that situation. Amen? Amen? Jesus even told us this in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Jesus said, Therefore take no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And the word morrow it speaks of it either speaks of the next day or it speaks of the next moment amen the next day or the next moment and so god said don't worry about tomorrow don't worry about the next moment he said we have enough to worry about on a daily basis sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof and he's letting us know of course he's speaking here about uh, the necessities of life but we can take this in every aspect of our life it is a daily warfare that we are in amen it is an everyday battle don't think the devil's going to take a day off amen don't think the devil's going to take a break he is working he might give you a break for a few hours but you can rest assured he's coming again amen and so we as christians have to keep our guard up as jesus even prayed he said give us this day our daily bread we need our daily sustenance from the spirit of god we are engaged in a constant warfare and the only and only those with a strong spirit will prevail as he said the spirit of a man will sustain him we have to be strengthened with might deep within us we have to be strengthened with might deep within us. Like I said, that word might speaks of power or strength. And that's what Paul was praying for these, these disciples in verse 16. He said that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. And so in order for us to overcome the challenges of, of, of life in order for us to overcome the battles and to be victorious uh, we got to be strong on the inside amen? amen we have to be strong and that's what i'm preaching about deep within we have to be strong deep within the core of our being have to be strong in in in, in order to sustain us in all this situation because the struggle as we know the struggle is real it's a real battle it's a real fight and and we as christians can win and we will win if we are strong on the inside. Amen? If deep down within us we have the power of God, if deep down within us the Spirit of God is working, we will be victorious. A lot of times people fall prey to the attacks of the enemy and they are discouraged and cast down and given into doubt and fear because deep down within them they do not have what it takes to stand against the battles. Amen? And so the message I'm preaching about is deep within we must be strong on the inside amen Amen. we must have the strength of god on the inside the bible tells us in ephesians 6 12 he said for we wrestle not against the flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of dark of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places so he's showing us that the devil and his demons are constantly fighting looking for ways to destroy Christians and people all together, but especially those that put their faith in Jesus. And don't think the devil is going to let up. Amen? He's not going to let up. He will fight us all the way to the grave. 
Especially as a person get older, I've, I've noticed this as I watch people, the older they get, they begin to, to, to let off the pedal, if you will, and try to take it easy, not realizing that at that time in their, at their life, they are more vulnerable to the attacks of the devil, that they are closer and closer to crossing the finish line, and the, and the devil is going to do everything he can to stop them, amen? And so we as Christians have to fight all the way to the end. It also shows us that there is even a constant battle that goes on between our flesh or our desires and that of the Spirit of God. He said in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 through 16 and 17, he said, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. And so he's sharing this here in, in Galatians chapter 5, that there is even a battle that goes on between us and the Spirit of God. Amen? There's a warfare that goes on between us and the Spirit of God. And that's the reason why a lot of times that... Every time it seems that, that, that we're trying to go or, or may try to go in the wrong way, the Holy Ghost is right there trying to convict us. Amen? Every time we find that that attitude may rise up or that anger, that bitterness may try to come up in us, the Spirit of God is right there to put it in check because He's there fighting. The two is fighting against each other and we cannot just do what we want if the Spirit of God is fighting and helping us. Amen? And so... This is the message I'm bringing it. I'm going to share all of it to bring it to this point. This is the, the core of the message, if you will. The Holy Spirit wants to help us to win the battle. Amen? Amen. It's a real battle. It's a real fight. We understand all that. We can win. But the Spirit of God wants to help us. The Holy Ghost is fighting to help us to live victoriously every day. But we have to help Him also, amen. We have to help him also. We have to yield ourselves to God, ourselves to God, so that he can strengthen us deep within with might by his spirit. You know, one of the most frustrating things is when you're trying to help someone and they are not even motivated to help themselves. Amen. And we all been there, right? You're trying to help somebody and trying to get them to, to do things and they won't even budge. They won't even move. There's, there, there's no enthusiasm, no, no, no excitement, no motivation. It drives you crazy. Amen. It drives you crazy because they don't want to help themselves. They don't want to move. They're so lazy and, 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 and you're trying your best to help them and you can't because they're not even moving. Amen. As it's been shared, I heard it many years ago, he said, God cannot guide or lead a stationary object. <laughs> if we are set in our ways and won't even move, God can't lead us. And so we have to be able to do, we have to do something for God to work with us. I'm talking about give God something to work with. Amen. We have to give God something to work with. Well, like I said, one of the most frustrating things is when God is trying to help people and they won't do anything to help themselves. And we find this in the book of Genesis when the angels went into Sodom and Gomorrah to destroy the city. And the Bible said that they told Lot, look, we're getting ready to destroy this place. Get your family and get out. And the Bible said that he lingered. He, he stood around. He wouldn't do anything. He even made the angels mad at him amen? because of his, 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 his unwillingness to, to help them. His unwillingness to do something. And so he got to the point where the angel just took him by the hand and brought him out and said, run for your life. Amen. But the thing was, if, if it hadn't been for the grace of God and, and God being merciful to Abraham, Lot would have died in that city also. It was only because of Abraham and his prayer that God spared him. But the thing is, the, the angels were trying to help him, but he wasn't helping himself. And so it is also a lot of times the Holy Ghost wants to help people. The Holy Ghost wants people to be victorious. He wants people to have faith and have the fire of God in their life. But He can't because on the inside of them there is nothing there. Amen. There is no power on the inside. There is no excitement. There is no fire. There is no motivation. There is no encouragement. And so the hand of the Spirit of God is tied. And so tonight the message is we have to give God something to work with. Amen. We have to give God something to work with. 
work with. The Bible says we have to have some faith on the inside of us, some kind of excitement for the Spirit of God to tap into and to use. And so that's what I'm talking about, the message deep within. There has to be something deep within our soul that the Holy Ghost can tap into and He can use to bring us the victory that we need. Amen? Amen. And that's what He also meant there in, in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. He said, Now unto Him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. There have to, there have to be a power working on the inside. Amen? There have to be something operating on the inside. In other words, we got to have some faith deep within us. we got to have some encouragement deep within us. we got to have something to offer God. God, I want to win. God, I want to make it to heaven. God, I want I want to be a soul winner. I want to be a motivated Christian. I want to be one that you can look at and say, I'm proud of that one. He is doing and fulfilling my will for his life. It got to be something deep on the inside for the Holy Spirit to tap into that he can use to bring about the victory I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. And there is a message tonight deep within. Is there, there has to be something deep within. Amen. There have to be something deep within that the Holy Ghost can tap into. You see, the Holy Ghost works from the inside, as I shared earlier. The Holy Ghost works from the inside. If our reservoir is running low on spiritual might or power, then it is time to pray. It is time to get some help from God. And that's what our text we're talking about. Paul began to encourage the disciples and in a sense praying for them. He said... To be strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man. He's saying that God, God, He was praying that God will strengthen them on the inside. God will make the inside strong. That spiritual man deep within our soul, He will put something there that the Holy Ghost can use to bring us the victory. The Holy Spirit is looking deep within us to find whatever He can use to bring sweet victory every day in our life. And if there is if there is anything lacking, he will make intercession to God to supply it for us. He will pray for us to be strengthened with might in the inner man because he needs something to work with. Amen? God needs something to work with. God needs something to work with. We want the miracles. A lot of times we want things done in our life, but there is nothing on the inside to offer God. Amen? Amen. And a lot of people want to pray and they're asking God for great and mighty things. And as he said there, he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think, but it's only according to the power working within us. Amen? Amen. And so we got to have something deep within us. We got to have something deep within us that the Spirit of God can tap into and the two of us can work together as he said in Romans chapter 8 verse 26 and 27 he said likewise the spirit also helpeth in our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit itself make it intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered you see a lot of times people are praying for something but what they really need is something else Amen. A lot of times we're praying for the miracle, but maybe what we need is God to fill us with faith. Amen. If we got faith deep down in the inside, miracles will happen. Amen. If we're walking by faith and living by faith and acting in faith and speaking faith, then miracles will begin to happen because the Holy Ghost can take that faith and say, you know what? That person believes me. That person have something deep within them that I can work with. And so that's what sometimes you say. We don't always know what we need to pray for. But he said the Spirit of God will begin to pray through us. The Spirit of God will begin to intercede for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he said in verse 27, And he that, and he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And so he's showing us something here that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit is ever ready and willing to help 
the people of God. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost wants to bring victory. The Holy Ghost wants to bring miracles. Amen. The Holy Ghost wants to bring power. He wants to cause us to rise up with wings like eagles. He wants us to soar above the, the problems and the difficulties of life. But a lot of times he can't do it because when he reached deep down within us, there is nothing there. Amen. And so the message tonight is Paul pray that God will strengthen us with might. Might speaks of power and might speaks of, of strength. God wants something deep within us and it can only come when God, when we pray and say, God, just make me a strong, genuine, holy Christian deep within my soul. Fill me, Lord Jesus, with faith. Give me the faith. Put it down deep in my heart so when the Holy Ghost tapped in, he will find something he can use. Amen? Thank God tonight. That's what God is looking for. Something Deep within us. Is there faith deep within your soul? Is there faith deep within your soul tonight that the Holy Ghost can use? You see, the Bible said in, in, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, He said, For he that cometh to God must believe, must believe that He is, and that He is a reward of them that diligently seek Him. He said, But without faith, it's impossible to please God. Amen. We got to have something deep within our heart. In the inner man, we got to have it deep within there because that's where the Holy Ghost operates. He said the Spirit searches the heart. Amen. The yeah. Spirit is searching the heart. He's looking. If there is weakness, he will begin to intercede. If we're lacking anything, he will begin to make intercession to God. If there is a, something that we need, the Spirit of God will supply it. But we got to have something there to, for him to work with. This is why the Bible calls upon us to build up ourselves on our most holy faith. The Holy Ghost needs something to work with. He looks deep within us for something that he can use. And so Jude, in Jude 1.20, the Bible said, But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so we're talking about the Holy Ghost wants to help us. To be an overcomer. The Holy Ghost wants to help us to be strong. The Holy Ghost wants to help us to rise above the problems, the challenges, the difficulties, and all the things that come against us on a daily basis. But he needs something to work with. Amen. He needs something to work with. It's hard to help people if they're not helping themselves. Amen. It's hard for, for us to, to motivate people if they themselves are not motivated. And so it is with God. You come to nourishment. And so it is with God. God wants to help his people. The Holy Ghost is looking, searching. I want them to overcome. But give me something. Give me something to work with. Give me some faith. Give me something as I look deep down within your heart and your soul. As I look deep down, the Spirit is saying, as I look deep down within your heart and soul, I want to find something there that I can use. Amen? I want to find something there that I can use to bring about sweet victory. We need to have might, spiritual power deep within us so that the Holy Ghost can tap into it and work wonders in our behalf. And therefore, like I share, the scripture call upon us to build up ourselves. He said, but, be, but ye beloved, building up yourselves in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. That's the reason why God gave us the Holy Ghost baptism, right? And he gave us the gifts of tongues so we can pray in that unknown tongue. What is that? So that we can build up something deep on the inside. So when the Holy Ghost comes in and begins to search, you don't have to look. Amen. You don't have to look. It's right there. It's right there, you know. It's right there. He can just tap into it and he can begin to work through us mighty things. Amen. And it's bringing it all together back into verse 20. He said, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. Deep down within us, we got to have something there to offer God. Amen. We got to have something within us to offer God so that the Spirit of God can work through us. And so tonight, that's the message I'm bringing to you is deep within. Do you have what it takes deep within you for the Holy Ghost to, to bring you victory every day in your life? Do you have it tonight? If not, 
Paul prayed for the disciples in verse 16, he said that you will be strengthened with might by his spirit. God will do it tonight. If we don't have that faith, if we don't have that, that faith deep within us for the spirit of God to, to work with, he said God will strengthen you. Amen. And so tonight, let God reach deep within you tonight as you bow heads and close your eyes and reverence to the Lord tonight. Let God strengthen you with might in the inner man. Let the spirit of God bring faith, put faith deep in your heart so that when the Holy Ghost search you, looking for some faith to work with, he will find it. I'm talking about deep within. Deep within tonight. That's where the Holy Ghost works. He works deep within our heart. But he's looking for something there. Something he can use. Something that he can use to bring about total victory in our life. If it's not there, pray. Jesus, give me. Give me that faith deep within my heart, Lord. Deep within my soul, fill me with the things that the Holy Ghost needs. Fill me with encouragement. Fill me with power. Fill me with faith. Fill me with some excitement. Fill me, God, with some enthusiasm, some motivation. Something that the Holy Ghost can use to bring about sweet, sweet victory in my life. As you begin to play and sing tonight, let's spend some time in prayer. The altar is open. We can come and pray. Give God something to work with. He's looking for something deep within us that he can use. Let's give God something to work with tonight. Go ahead.
God some excitement to work with. Give God some enthusiasm to work with. Something deep within us. Some faith. Give God some faith to work with tonight. Give God some confidence in the Lord. Something that He can work with tonight. But that's the mission of the Holy Ghost. Is to help us. To help us. Deep within us, He's searching for something that He can work with. Let's give Him something to work with tonight. Father, we just want to praise You and thank You, Lord. We love You with all our soul, all our heart, and all our mind. Thank You, Lord God, for giving us faith deep within us. Oh God, throughout this week, keep putting faith in our hearts. Put faith in our heart. Put faith in our heart. Put faith in our soul, oh God, in our heart, in our mind, so that the Holy Ghost can take it and work with it, Lord Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise and glory and honor. We thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy and your love and your joy and your peace. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you so much for everything. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Blessing to be in the house of the Lord in God's presence, man. I was at the altar and his presence was just all over me and I was enjoying it. Yes. Amen. I don't mind going on to the altar and enjoy the presence of God. Amen. It's a wonderful thing to feel the presence of the Lord. And, and you know, let's just this week, let's give God something to work with. Yes. Something deep within us. The Spirit wants to work in our life. We just got to help him. Amen. Amen. We just got to give him something to work with tonight. And that's really the message, the, the theme or the idea of the message is the Spirit wants to help us. We got to help the Spirit, amen? We got to give Him something to work with, and it has to be deep within us. And so tonight, we'll close the service. Thank you all for joining us online. May God bless you. We will be here broadcasting again Sunday morning. And uh, pray for the services, and pray that God will give the right messages and everything. And we'll close the service in prayer before we go any further and kill it, right? <laughs> yeah, can we do Jim? Loving Father, we thank you, God, for another powerful message, Lord, delivered with the help of your Holy Spirit. God, we go, we want to go deeper, Lord. Help us to go deeper and deeper in your word and your love this week, God, until the next message allows us to speak to our hearts. In Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Amen.